All right, so today we're talking about Xcode. It's a really cool utility that gives you a GUI interface to manage and um, view and um, see all the different elements of various ways that you can interface with Xcode on your machine. So this utility, as you can see, shows all the different versions of Xcode that you can install on your machine. It shows you which ones are are installed so you can see here that I have Xcode 15.4 you can see that that's the one that's installed because it has the green dot you can see that I can open this version you can also see that I have iOS SDK installed I don't have tvOS or watchOS or visionOS installed but I can install those by pressing the install button if I would if I want to I can open the application I can uninstall cleanly Xcode I can right click and I can open, reveal in Finder, copy the path, or create a sim link to, or you know, otherwise uh, an alias to the Xcode application. Again, I can also uninstall. I can hide the sidebar, I can reload the list, which is kind of a cool feature. In order to install Xcode from within the application, you do need to be signed in with your Apple ID, which I did do earlier. So you do need to click on this little tiny profile picture and sign in with your Apple ID. So that is important. And you do need to be a member of the Apple Developers Network in order to download a copy of Xcode. So that is a prerequisite to use the application, but it is a much easier way of managing multiple different versions of Xcode. Now you might be asking yourself, why would you want to use this utility? Well, the reality is, is that you can have multiple versions of Xcode and some developers actually like testing with multiple versions of Xcode because they might be working with multiple versions of Swift or multiple versions of SDKs or multiple versions of, of different code sets that requires different versions of Xcode. So, this utility will allow you to have multiple versions of Xcode installed that allow you to switch between which version of Xcode is the active and default version at any given time. So you can only have one version that's the default active version and this utility shows you which version that is by this little tiny green dot indicator. And when you have multiple versions installed, you can make the version that you wish, you can switch the version that you wish to be the active version from within this utility much faster than doing so from within the command line. Um, so lots of other features within the application, you can view releases only, you can turn that filter off and you can see beta releases, you can remove the filter entirely, you can turn the filter back on, so on and so forth. So uh, you can see here I have beta only and now I'm back to seeing everything. So really great uh, little utility. I really enjoy it. It's been a huge part of my tool set and I really hope that you could you know, find value in it. Check it out. I'm gonna put the download link down in the description below. If you like it, go ahead and go over to the GitHub page and give it a star, give it a follow, and give some love to the developers. It's a huge community actually. There's a lot of contributors and you know give some some love out there there's there's a lot of people in the mac admins community that use this on a regular basis but it's a relatively unknown i think a lot of people relatively speaking you know don't really use this on a day-to-day -day basis and i think that the more people that know about this utility the more people that um start using it the more people um, will realize the power of being able to test with and use multiple versions of Xcode on a regular basis. So if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this utility, please follow me. I'll be making more videos like this. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, thanks for watching.